Hello viewers, in the previous video we performed some transformation. In this video we are going to perform more transformation. Sorry for intruding. If you're enjoying my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. It really helps me out and allows me to create more videos for you. Thank you so much for your support. In the previous video we created a table called with the column of ID, first name, last name and full name. In this video, we're going to create a new table using a subset of column. So we are going to create a new table. So let's create this table now. So in this new data, we are going to be copying into this table. We created with four columns. We, use, we are going to be copying into the table only the ID and the last name. So we put the um, columns that we are going to create in parentheses here, which is the ID and last name. So we are going to select um, X1, which is the ID here, and we are going to select the S3, the, which is the last name. Note that the dollar sign the dollar sign one represent the ID, the dollar sign two represent the first name, the dollar sign three represents the last name. And the full, um, the dollar sign four will now represent the full name. But in this instance that we are taking the subset of columns, we are going to copy only the ID and the last name in this, when creating this um, copy option, use those parentheses and add the column that you want to specifically copy into the new table you created. Because in some instance, as a data engineer, you will not want to give all the data to a certain department. So all you need to do is to copy the only ones you need all you need to do is to give the department the only columns they need to see and work with. So, so now let's copy this. Um, let's copy into this new table the ID and the last name. So we have successfully copied um, 50, 50 rows of data into this table and it has no error, no error seen. So here is chain zero, which means that there is no error seen. So now let's run our table that we copied the two, the two columns, which is the ID and the last name. So you can see here, the only data that was copied is the ID and the last name and the other table, the other columns, which is the last name and the full name are represented with null values. So this is the 50 rows of data that we copied successfully into the new table we created. So this one, we are going to perform another um, example, which is example four, we will create a table with auto increment. So here, so we are going to create a new table and we are going to increment it by one. And in this table, you are going to copy only the, the, the new ID code we created, the first name and the last name. So now let's create our table. Okay, we've successfully created our table. So now let's run our table to confirm that it's actually empty. So let's run our table. So you can see we created four columns, which is the ID code, the first name, the last name, and the full name, and the full name. So now we are going to copy only the first three columns, which is the ID, the first name, and the last name. So now let's, let's copy into our new table, 
the three columns we selected, which is this ID code, the first name and the last name. So we have successfully copied these three columns into our new table. So let's run our new table and see what we created. So we've copied the, the ID code, the first name and the last name and the full name is not since we did not um, cop, we did not include the full name. We created a subset of our table. So now let's um, let's write some query where we want the the ID code we created to start from number sixteen. So let's run our query again. So now we've successfully run our query and it's starting from 16, 17, and up to 50. So we, this is how you perform some transformation to, if you want to copy a subset of a particular table. And thank you for watching and keep learning.